Good morning, my dear. Today is Friday, July 22nd. I am Reverend Gretchen Pena, and today's word is courage. Let's open with prayer. Just get still and breathe. And precious spirit, <clears throat> We thank you for another morning of living, learning, loving, and growing. We ask that you bless our lives and the lives of those dear to us and the lives of every person and creature on this planet. May there be peace on earth. May there be health on earth. May we be a part of bringing about a new paradigm on earth. We are ready. Thank you, God. Amen. <clears throat> well, as I said, today's word is courage. And Webster defines courage as the attitude of facing and dealing with anything recognized as dangerous, difficult, or painful instead of withdrawing from it. And in the revealing word, uh, Charles Fillmore says, Courage is a spiritual quality that enables one to remain poised and centered in God amidst great difficulties and danger. <clears throat> we tend to think of courage as courage in battle or courage in battling a devastating disease. But courage is also manifested in small acts. Um, I think that courage, and this is my own definition, I think that courage is a combination of faith and strength with perhaps a bit of will thrown in. And anytime we try something new, anytime we have a little bit of fear around something and do it anyway, that's courage. Someone um, in the 80s, I believe, wrote a book called, um, what is it, Facing Your Fear and Doing It Anyway or something like that. <clears throat> and, and fear is the opposite of faith. And when we experience fear, even if it's subliminal, um, just a feeling of discomfort, like maybe our our route that we always take uh, is closed and we have to, to, we're diverted to a different route and, and that's, we don't know where we are, where we're going. Uh, that can be a little, a little bit fearful, but when we go ahead and do it, uh, we're, we're manifesting courage. And, <clears throat> I know I, I feel the first time I really uh, showed courage as an adult was when I finally recognized that no is a complete sentence. And I felt like a real grown up when I did that uh, because I had always felt I had to, if I said no to anything, I felt I had to explain myself. And then I realized, no, I don't have to do that. It's nobody's business. Just no, just plain no. So anytime you feel a bit of fear and you go ahead and do the thing that's causing you that discomfort, you're displaying courage. Our scripture this morning is from Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a spirit of power and love and self-discipline power and love and self-discipline. Uh, so maybe those are attributes of courage as well. So let's take a moment now to reflect on our affirmation this morning, is my faith and strength give me courage? So I invite you to get still, just breathe and allow the breath to be the transformation between the ordinary and the sacred. 
and breathing in breathing in spirit releasing everything else everything that is not spirit breathing in faith and strength releasing fear and doubt and precious spirit in this moment I recognize that many times I have been courageous I may not have fought off wild animals or enemy soldiers but I have experienced and expressed courage in my own small ways and every time I do this I build up a reservoir of faith and strength that allows me to take on even greater fears and to work my way through them and if I really think about it those fears that I have confronted in the very act of confronting them they dissolve they just go poof like the some of the characters in a video game they just go away what was a fear is now nothing it's just something i i can do easily i can confront easily it no longer frightens me because i have faced it and recognized that i am greater than that thing that i feared so let's take a moment now and go more deeply within as we contemplate my faith and strength give me courage right now in the silence I am now in the presence of pure being and immersed in the Holy Spirit of life, love, and wisdom. I acknowledge thy presence and thy power, O blessed spirit. In thy divine wisdom now erase all mortal limitation and from thy pure substance of love, bring my world into manifestation according to thy perfect laws. And so it is. And my dear, thank you for joining me this morning. Be courageous. Namaste.